Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be trying something new. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to edit this photo here that we have here on this computer in under five minutes. The idea is it will be able to be posted onto my Instagram page once I have done this edit in five minutes. Um, this is going to be a bit of a challenge because I'd like to spend a little bit more time on my photos. Now there's one thing you can do. You can if you wanted to uh, use one of our Lightroom presets and you can just apply it to one of my uh, images um, but I'm not going to do that simply because that feels like it's cheating um, I'm going to go from scratch all the way to the final edit in five minutes okay so quickly before we jump into this I just want to mention a quick freebie we're giving away down below if you follow the top link in the description um, you may have to copy it into your browser if it's not a hyperlink but follow that link and you can sign up for our mailing list for our website and you can get yourself a free beginners preset pack of four, four presets um, and that's just a quick download all you need to do is put your first name your surname and also your email you sign up to our mailing list and you will probably get some offers every now and again for our website to get discounts off our presets and we'll let you know when new presets come. but if you want to get yourself a free beginners preset pack that actually would cost you three or four pounds off our website just follow that link down below and sign up without any further ado let's get into this video so I'm gonna time it on my phone here I'm gonna put a timer for five minutes and then what we're gonna do is just press go and we're going to see how far we can get through of this edit. I'm probably not going to talk to you what I'm doing too much. I'm going to try and tell you what I'm doing, but there are better tutorials on our um, YouTube if you want to see those. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the five minute timer. Um, just, I don't know, you won't be able to see that, but it says five minutes. Um, I will turn notification noises on so we can hear it end. Uh, and we're going to click start. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to crop this. I'm going to go, come over here to the crop tool. Um, I'm going to crop it to a 4x5 because that's what Instagram uses um, and I'm just going to readjust it to about there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the highlights. I like it to be very bright highlights. Uh, drop the shadows. I'm going to try and go for a nice deep contrast look by bringing up the whites and the shadows and also the clarity ever so slightly. Come up to the contrast and drag that up as well. Uh, probably a little bit less contrast. Okay, as for exposure, I'm probably just going to leave that on plus 0.05. Um, and I'm going to make this slightly more blue <coughs> by dragging down the temperature. Uh, I will probably leave the tint as it is there. Okay, as for vibrance and saturation, uh, drag down the uh, vibrance and increase the saturation to about plus 30. I'm going for a very vibrant, uh, very saturated image. Uh, as for my tone curve, I'm going to quickly make like a nice S curve like this. Drag up the mid highlights, drag down the shadows. Um, and I'm going to try and put a little bit of fade into the shadows as well by lifting up the shadows like that and then dropping down the highlights. Um, <coughs> okay, so we've now got, we are one minute in. Um, this is looking like it might be fairly easy to do actually. Um, um, this is one thing, if you guys have a YouTube channel, try and do this yourselves. Uh, see if you can do an edit in under five minutes. Um, I'm going to come down to cal camera calibration and I'm going for an orange and teal look. But I'm going for a very saturated orange and teal, so I'm going to drag up the red primary completely and the blue primary completely and then I'm going to drop down the saturation ever so slightly in each of those just because I think it's a little bit extreme. Okay so once we've done that I'm going to come back up to the uh, HSL slider and I'm going to get the uh, saturation slider and I'm going to just adjust the amount of oranges, desaturate those ever so slightly. The reds probably bring up and also the blues I'm going to bring up nice uh, as well. Okay so just checking the time we have three minutes left to go. Um, we are probably quite pushed for time here. Okay, so I'm gonna get the oranges, I'm gonna increase the luminance of those, I'm gonna increase the luminance of the blues, um, and also the aquas, and probably decrease the yellows and decrease the greens a bit. Um, as for the hue, uh, I might try and add a little bit more teal into the blues, but not too much. Um, probably have about minus four, bring up the aquas ever so slightly and leave everything else alone. We don't really have time to mess around with that too much. Okay, split toning, uh, I'm gonna press Alt on my keyboard, I'm gonna drag the slider up. Um, this is actually really, <laughs> really quite stressful. Um, we're going to go for a sort of blue colour in the highlights, and um, that's going to have to do, we will put that, we have got two and a half minutes going, um, okay, we're going to put that there, we can't, we're going to move on, um, hues, <laughs> we're going to drag, uh, we're going to go for oranges in our hues, and we're going to drag that to about four there, okay, so that's <coughs> um, everything else done, detail, I'm going to add a little bit of luminance, I don't want my images to have too much noise in them, I like to make my images quite soft, okay, so we've done detail, I can't really mess around much more, now I'm going to go into the brush tool, um, and this is really where we can do our fine details, this is going to be quite pushed for time, uh, why is my computer lagging, okay, we've got two minutes to go, uh, double click on effect, reset everything, and I'm just going to literally drag up the highlights, drag up the exposure, and make it a little bit more orange, and then I'm just going to paint the chef in the background here, 
um, because that is the focus of the image, I want him to stand out. Um, so I'm just going to paint over him. I'm going to create a new brush layer by selecting new, double click effect and reset it. And then I'm going to increase the exposure again. And I'm just going to paint on his black shirt as well like that. Okay, that's basically done with the brush tool. Now the next thing I'm going to do is come into the gradient tool. Um, we've got one and a half minutes to go. Okay, uh, gradient tool, just to the bottom, I'm going to fade it out a bit. I don't want it to be too bright. I want to focus the uh, viewer's attention onto the center of the image. So I'm going to drag that darker. I'm going to do the same on the top. I'm going to make that slightly darker as well. Um, I may even drag down the blues. Actually, I'm going to make it slightly more orange. Um, then on the left, I'm just going to drag one across. I'm not going to make this one as dark. I'll probably make it to about minus 0.5. Um, and I'm going to make this one slightly bluer. Okay, so for select done, um, that's basically what we're looking at now. This is the before image. If it ever loads, why is it lagging? <laughs> okay, we've got 50 seconds left, and this is a great time for my computer to lag. Um, okay, so we have now got 40 seconds left. You can see that is the after photo. Um, okay, so with the last 30 seconds left, I am going to come into lens corrections. I'm just going to select enable pro uh, profile correction, see what that does. I don't really like the effect that's given it, so I'm going to just move on from there. Uh, transform, see if we can actually align this photo any better. It looks slightly wonky. See if the, there we go. Okay, so the computer straightened everything up for there. Um, and there's probably not a lot more I can do. I've now got 20 seconds left um, to make any final adjustments. I do think my highlights are a little bit too bright and my whites are a bit too bright. So I'm going to bring those down. Um, and I'm going to warm up the image ever so slightly. Um, then as for the vibrance, probably drop that down a tiny bit more. So we're basically done with the final edit. Okay, so <laughs> there you go. That is the time. Timer is done. Um, okay, so that is the edit. That's all we can do from here. Um, I'll just show you this in full screen now. Um, so we had the photo five minutes ago had not been edited, and this is the final edit that we've got left. Um, now what you could have done, you could do now if you had more time, drop this into Photoshop, add some reflections, add some lighting effects, which I might do in the future. This will be up on my Instagram if you guys want to see. The Instagram post will be the five minute edit plus a few tweaks that I'm gonna do a bit later. Um, but that is just to show to you guys, you can actually edit something in five minutes if you really needed to. Um, obviously I know how Lightroom works. I have used Lightroom for over a year now. I'm actually quite fast at using it because I use it so much. Uh, if you are new to this, you probably won't be able to do that in five minutes, but you can see you can get a nice vibrant teal and orange look in five minutes if you are pushed for time. I really suggest if you are, that what you do is you try and edit uh, in a little bit more time and spend more time on your edits. So for example here, his arm is a little bit pale. I probably could have sorted that out as well. Okay, so what I've done is I've done this edit in five minutes. I'm now gonna show you the edit that I did a while ago and this edit I spent probably about half an hour on. Um, so this is the edit we've done now. And this is the edit I spent more time on. So you can see the difference you get when you spend more time. Um, so this is the one that I did in five minutes. This is the one I spent more time on. Now, the one I spent more time on hasn't been aligned vertically, but um, you can see, if you look at the difference in colors, the blues are a lot brighter, the blues are a lot more colorful, and as for the oranges as well. Um, in this one, it doesn't look as vibrant, it doesn't look as nice. Um, one other thing that really draws my attention is, as well, I've made the focus on him a lot better. You can see that his color uh, the colour of his skin is a lot better, he's not completely washed out. Whereas in this photo, his face is actually quite dark and his arm is really bright. It's just kind of an unnatural lighting on him. Um, everything else is kind of a lot brighter and I've also introduced a lot more fade into the shadows in the one where I spent more time. The shadows are also slightly brighter as well. But for five minutes, I'm actually quite impressed with this edit. Um, I will show you what the before looked like as well. Okay, so coming from this and then going to what we've done in five minutes, I'm actually quite impressed. I'd much prefer to post the five minute edit than I would this edit here. Um, so that's it guys. If you did enjoy this five minute edit, it was slightly stressful to try and do in five minutes, um, then do let me know by hitting the thumbs up and leaving a comment down below. If you want to see any more like this, um, also let me know and I might be bringing out some more tutorials um, or some more challenges like this. It's just kind of a bit more fun to film than all the time how to edit like videos. Um, if you haven't already, uh, go check out our website that is linked down below. We have lots of preset packs available. Some of them are on sale. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Live long and prosper.